Hello everybody, it is Don, and this is Gizmo. Um, oh, first I want to apologize for not doing videos that often. Um, sometimes I feel like I do videos and nobody really watches them or cares about them anyway, so I'm not motivated to do them. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that. Put that out there for you guys. Now, I had done a video a while back about um, the five um, steps to mastering Tai Chi or Tai Chi, however you want to pronounce it. And to be honest, I don't remember when I did that video or even what I started to um, say the top five were. Um, I had a comment that um, a viewer actually wanted to know what the rest of them were. So this is an updated video for 2025. Yes, it is 2024 right now, but it's almost mid-December. So those who are watching this probably are going to be seeing it in 2025 anyway. So I am going to give you the five right now in this video. And then if you want to learn more about these five and you want me to explain them um, in, in more detail, <clears throat> make sure that you like the video, click the like button, leave a comment, let me, let me know that you guys actually like this stuff and you want me to do more videos, okay? So now, what are the five steps to mastering Tai Chi? Number one is song. Being song. Now, I'm going to actually tell you song A and song B. Song A is mastery of self. You are song, meaning released. Your muscle tension is released. Your mind is released. Everything about you is just released, okay? Look up the definition of release if you want more in depth under explanation of that, but most of us pretty know pretty much know what release means. Okay? So in Tai Chi, release muscle tension as much as you can. Song B means to release also, but releasing into an opponent. Okay? We'll, we'll talk more about that later if you guys are even interested in that. But song A and song B, you have to master both of those. Now, number two, ting, T-I-N-G, means to listen. But it doesn't mean to audibly listen. It means to listen through feeling, okay? Feeling like with your hands or feeling with your senses, Feeling what's going on inside your body. And then when you touch other people, you can feel what's going on in them. Okay? So you can have very little ting, or you can be the master of ting. Okay? But if you if you want to truly master Tai Chi, you have to master ting. It, it needs to be high-level ting, not just a little baby ting. It needs to be high level. Okay, so two. Three is Hua. And I will put these spellings somewhere above the video here. Hua means to neutralize. You need to be able to master neutralizing your opponent. Neutralizing attacks, things that are going on. Neutralize. Look up the definition of neutralize if you need further clarification. Okay? Again, we can talk about these things later. Okay, number four is na. Okay? Na means to seize. You need to be able to seize your opponent. So you neutralize them, then you seize them means that you're seizing their base, you're seizing their frame. Now, this goes back to Song B. 
if you song, you release into your opponent, you are going to seize them up. You're going to nod them, okay? Again, we'll talk about this later. So that's number four. Number five is fa. Fa means to issue, okay? So you're going to be able to issue power on your opponent, okay? So this is common known as fa jin, okay? So issuing power. So song, ting, hua, fa, na, fa. Okay, so you're going to song, you're going to ting, so song into the person. You're going to ting that person, feel that person. You're going to neutralize that person. You're going to seize that person, and then you're going to issue on that person. Okay, so that's the five steps to mastering Tai Chi. So during practice, when you're practicing, you should be thinking about one of these five things. What, which one of these five things am I going to be focusing on while I'm doing my Tai Chi? Whether you're doing the Tai Chi form or whether you're doing Tai Chi push-ins. You need to be focused on one of these five. You're being sung and being released during the form. So do the form where you're, you're just totally released. Okay? Self. Then do the form where you're being sung, but you're thinking about songing into the person. There's actually an opponent there and you're songing into them. Okay? Then do the form where you're, you're concentrating on everything is being neutralized. Then do the form where everything is being seized. Then do the form where everything is being issued. You're issuing power on every single movement in the form. Maybe not every single movement, but you will use your imagination and figuring during the form when you will be issuing power on an opponent, okay? So that's it for the video. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps you. I hope that answers your questions if you did have um, some concerns about what are these five things. Well, if you're watching this in 2024, have a great Christmas because it is right before Christmas time. And if you're watching this in 2025, have a great year and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have yourself a blessed day.